Okay, so now I am excited because we'll start with Firebase. So for that, open your browser and type in here Firebase console, search for it, and go to this website in here, the Firebase console. It will ask you to sign in, but I have already signed in. And in here we need to create uh, or add a new project, so press this icon in here and type in your project name. I will name it as store up continue. In here we don't actually need this Google Analytics so I will turn it off and press create project. It will take some time so wait till it finish then we will continue. Okay so now it is done so let's continue. So once we register or continue, it will bring us to this page, the project overview screen or page, where we can initialize an iOS app, Android app, web app, even a Unity game. In this course, I will cover the Android app. So let's create one now. We need to fill up a form in here. The first one is our package name. So to get it, let's go back to the Visual Studio code and go back or go to the app level, open it and go to this build a grader file. In here, search for application ID, which is here and copy this. Go back to the browser and paste it in here. Now you can find this package name somewhere else, which is in the SRC, open the main open the Kotlin, go to the main activity, and it is here also. But this is just a simple way of how to get it. Just go to this build gradle file and copy this. Let's go back and we need to add in here a name for it. So I will name it store name or so I will name it store up. And now we need to add a debug sign in certificate which is called SHA1 key. This is optional, but we need to add it to our app because we will use a Google sign-in and it didn't work without a key for it. So how to do it? Actually, I will not do it in front of you because I don't want anyone to get my key, but I will let you know how to do it. So hover on this icon in here and go to this page. And in here, if you are on Windows, just copy this line of code and you need to change your directory, which is the user profile. So go to your this PC and go to local disk C and search for users, search for your name and copy it and paste it in here. Now, once you're done, you need to copy this. It may work for you or it may not. If it may not, I will put another code in the description of the tutorial, you can find it. So just like this. Now I will add it to my app, but I will not show you to not get the key. So I will stop this video and continue and the next step. So now I finished the registration of my app and then you need to download a file which is called Google services.json. This is a JSON file which is help Firebase to configure out your project and your app will not run without it. So let's download it now. And as you can see, you need to add it or move it to your Android app module and the root directory, just as this picture show you. So it is here, so I will grab it and paste it at the app level, just like this. Let's continue. We need now to add the Firebase SDK. So let's copy this line of code. Go back to the, let's go now to the build gradle, which is not in the app level, which is here and paste it in here. And now make sure that you have Google in your repository, which is, I have it in here. If it doesn't appear, just paste it in here. And let's go to the next step. And so in here, they are telling you that to go to this 
build the gradle file which is in the app root so in here we need to add this and usually this line of code is being added at the bottom of this class so I'll paste it in here and we need to add this implementation now if you are on Android Studio it may ask you to sync it now but I am on Visual Studio Code so they will not ask me I will add the implementation in here and now we can run it again you must run it again to make sure that there is no error so let's wait until the running is finished to make sure that there is no errors so our app is finished running and as you can see there is no error so we can press next in here and continue to the console so the next step will be the authentication to allow the users to sign in and register using email and password so stay tuned